Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So I'll be starting with Laravel here. So today I'm going to show you form submit with image in Laravel. How to do it. So let's get started with today's video. So I have created a view here. You can see I'm having one name field, one email and one image field. And with that, I have created one database. So in database, you can see Laravel tutorial database. And inside that, I'm having one register table and columns. I'm having name, email and file name. So now let me show you code now. In uh, firstly, I'm going to show you web.php. So here you can see my first root is register controller and inside that index function so here is my register controller inside that you can see i'm having an index function that is loading my view that is register register i'm also having one uh, view file so let me show you in resources you can find views so inside that you can see register.blade.php so that's my view file so here you will find the code of form that i have just shown you so I have just used normal bootstrap only. So here you can see form and inside that you can see name input field. There is email and after that image and last submit button. So that's a simple form here, HTML form. After that you can see I have included bootstrap and some Ajax. So I'm including here at the rate CSRF as Laravel by default is having CSRF enabled. So you make sure that you include CSRF token in your form. So now let's start submitting the form. Let's give ID. So let's say register form. After that, it's a multi-part form. So write and type equals to multi-part slash form data. And after that, write on submit. So I'll be submitting this form using Ajax. So here write on submit and one function. And this function I'm going to create in my script. So in script, write function save register and uh, get one parameter that is event so i'm going to prevent default so page will not redirect to form submit page so write console.log and inside that write uh, register so let me show you how this save register will be called so inspect and go to console if you will click on submit you can see the register is displayed so your function on click of submit is called so now let's get the form data so write var let's say register data after that write dollar and id of form and after id of form at zero index we will be getting the data of our form now let's create form data using this register data so again define one now variable let's say var form data and after that write new form data and pass this register data inside that so let me show you what we'll be getting in register form. So let me console it. So let's check in browser, fill the form and submit. So now you can see first one here we are getting at zero index our form data. So that's what we are getting in our code. There is one error as well. That is uh, because of this var form data. So F is capital. Let me just do the small error. Now let's check in browser submit. Now you can see there is no error. Now I'm going to write Ajax code that will send my data to a backend request. So let's write on dollar Ajax. First one URL, after that method will be post. Then there will be data, form data, that variable. After that, let's say success function and response we will be getting. So let's uh, console.log this response right now. Now for URL, I need to define it in web.php. So write root, let's say that will be post request and uh, URL will be save register and it will go to register controller store function. Pass that. Now this root I'm going to pass in my Ajax URL because it's going to hit this URL. So write double curly bracket inside that uh, write URL and inside URL pass save register whatever your root you have given pass that here. So let me show you in browser what issue you will face if you will send this type of Ajax request here with image. So uh, let me choose image and then submit. So here you can see illegal invocation is there. 
So this issue is coming as data will take as an object. Anything other than string, it will just process it. We need to pass one option as a false here to send our image as a file. First one, write content type as false. After that, write process data as false. So now let's go and check in browser. So refresh and let's uh, fill the form, name and email, image upload one, then submit. Go to network and go to save register. Here you can see image is going as binary, like now it's going as an image file. So here my two input field name is same input email. So I just need to change input type file to let's say input image. So let's go and change. So now let's uh, again check in browser. So now let's quickly fill the form and submit. Go to save register here you can see now input image. So now I'll be showing you how we will be receiving this data in our backend. So this uh, save register will go to store function of register controller. So now let's go to that function and here I'm just going to show you what we will be getting in our request. So I'm just going to print basically DD in Laravel if you will say. So here I'm going to write request all. So let's check in browser, submit. Now let's go to preview. Here you can see token is there, name, email and image is there. So all the input fields I am getting into my backend. Well, I am not going to show you any validation in this video. So let me just uh, pass required to all my input fields. So go to input field and just write required and uh, name, email and image. So now in store function, now let's take this in a variable, let's say input array so let's upload our file first so let's check request has file so this function will tell you if your image input image type is having any file or not so if any file is there then we are going to upload it to our folder now let's get the file so for that write request file and pass the input field name so that is input image after that let's get the original name of the file so image variable after that get original client original name now let's create a variable to hold the uploaded file name so let's say file name after that now let's uh, upload the file so write file let's say move so move function will upload the file so i want to upload it to a, a directory so let's say uploads so here first one is basically where you want to upload your file path till that after that file name i'm going to pass so after upload, I want to insert it into my database. So for that, I need one model. So if you will go to models, there you can see just right now user. So I just need to create one more model here. Let's say PHP artisan make model with register name. I'm going to create a new model. So you can see the created file here with command. So now firstly, I need to pass my table name as I have not created using migrations. So firstly, I need to pass protected table, let's say register. So this register model will refer to this register table. Now let's write code for insert. So here we will be calling this register model. And for that, we are going to call a create function. So in create, I'm going to pass my data. So in this first one, I'm going to pass is name. So as a array, I'm going to pass. So write name and input array inside that input name. After that email and the key is input email only. After that file name I'm going to pass. So that will be file name that is uploaded one. Now let's check and submit. In save register there is one error file. Okay so I need to pass this image. So now let's go and again check. Click on submit. Now you can see I'm having one error. So it says that add this to playable property. So why this error come up is because I have not added playable property in my model. So whichever fields you are going to add or let's say insert into your DB, you need to write that into this playable property. So here name, email or file name. So now let's refresh and let's start again. So I'm showing you all these errors so that you can go in a flow like how exactly to do the things in Laravel. 
and I'm having one more error so it says column name updated at not defined so when you are using create function on a model so it will also insert created at or updated at so here I'm not having these columns so for that I'm going to use insert function here now submit and you can see I'm not having any error so let's go to DB and check so you can see one record is inserted so now let me check uh, file is also uploaded or not go to public folder inside upload you can see I'm having one image file so that's how you can upload a image with form so in this video I have shown you how you can upload an image with form fields so I hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching if you have any doubt then you can comment down in the comment section so thank you so much for watching guys